New Super Mario Brothers. It has a sort of negative stigma behind it for being what many consider to be boring. But here, I want to talk about what Nintendo may have to do for the next installment for these games. The new Super Mario Bros. games have four games as of now. The original on the DS, New Super Mario Bros. 2 on the 3DS, then you have the two games on the Wii and Wii U. I've played three of them, those being the DS, 3DS, and Wii U installments, so anything I say in this video may be proven false or just inaccurate with the Wii game alone, but I honestly doubt this. Although, I truly wouldn't know. The new, and I say new with finger quotes, branch of Mario isn't entirely bad, it's just bland. Well, Blend is bad, obviously, but whenever I've played these games, I don't typically feel negative with them, but rather, it ended just as I was getting bored with it. Originally, I forgave the DS iteration simply because it had been a while since we had a new 2D Mario game to play, but after playing the others, I think I finally narrowed down my personal issues with these games and what can be changed to improve upon them. Now, let me make one thing clear, the games are well made. The music is the standard Mario charm, the levels are solid, but they simply play it too safe. I'll explain what I mean by this later on in the video, but for now, I want to get into the first of my two points. New Super Mario Bros. games aren't bad to play, so when I criticize its gameplay, I'm not saying it's bad but rather samey if that makes sense. Basically, to just break it down a bit, a 3 out of the 4 games of this franchise do next to nothing to set them apart from each other in terms of its gameplay. Let me ask you something. What exactly sets Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario Odyssey different from one another on a gameplay standpoint? What sets them apart? It'd be very easy for you guys to be able to name something, whether it be Flood of Sunshine, Cappy of Odyssey, or the Gravity in Galaxy. The 3D Mario games all have a unique trait to them. Now, name me a unique trait between the New Super Mario Bros. series. If you name the coin collecting from New Super Mario Bros. 2, then technically you'd be right. However, it's really the only one, and even then it doesn't radically change what we know about 2D Mario platforming like 3D Mario does with 3D Mario platforming. I can forgive the very first game on DS because it was a return to basics, much like how Mario 64 merely introduced us to 3D platforming. The coin collecting in New Super Mario Bros. 2 just doesn't do enough, and us as players grow bored with the same old gameplay with very little being done in keeping it fresh. The Zelda developers are masters at this. Most games within Zelda all introduce some new and fresh gameplay idea that changes the way you look at situations or puzzles. New Super Mario Bros. needs something like this. It desperately needs to be able to take its already established formula and add a unique spin to it that would cause us to look at the level laid out before us in a new way. I find it to be highly ironic that a franchise that starts with the word new feels old and almost outdated now. My argument for the franchise's level design goes back to a comment I made earlier in the video. It feels as if they're playing it safe. I'm no expert at level design, but the levels of these games are typically designed flat, where you'd barely ever move up or down a level. There are a few that do this, but clearly not enough. Many levels also follow a very strict formula from what I've seen. Levels typically start with a learning section of the level's mechanic, then asks you to apply what you learned in a low risk area, then finally ending it with a climax where that mechanic is thrown somewhere much riskier. There's nothing wrong with this approach, but not changing it up a bit does become a bit repetitive and could definitely use some mix up to the formula. When I was talking about gameplay, I entertained the idea of having a unique trait to a new game similar to the 3D Mario games does. Level design could also benefit from this idea, as the developers at Nintendo would have to design levels with this unique trait in mind, making levels also feel unique to the game itself. New Super Mario Bros. could definitely benefit greatly with a new approach to its level design. 3D Mario has to design levels with Gravity from Galaxy in mind, Cappy from Odyssey in mind, or The Flood from Sunshine in mind. Something like this for New Super Mario Bros. could help the level design so much. The new Super Mario Bros. franchise has never been quite bad, but were always middle of the line for me. They never were a bad experience, but never anything I would remember down the line. 
many people I know don't even think about these games all that much, considering we have so many other Mario games that are fantastic. So having a decent 2D Mario every once in a while is just kind of there with little care for it. Hell, I personally wouldn't mind seeing a new game on the Switch, but it would be one of those few situations where I wouldn't be excited for a new Mario platformer. That's all I really have to say in this video. I don't want this video to come off negative in any way, but rather my way of providing some constructive criticism to Nintendo in hopes that they improve the franchise. Please let me know what you guys think. Maybe you really like these games, so you have no problem with this. Or maybe you agree with me, but just want to add in your own ideas how to improve it. Maybe you disagree with me entirely. Just let me know. For now, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Later. I'm talking to you. Thanks for Make like a drum and beat it. Make like a tree and leave. All your fellas and Cinderellas, I'm giving you the heat. Get the fuck out.